Hey, what's good, everyone? Welcome to Ice Rink Diaries, local ice man here. And for today's episode, I'm gonna explain how we heat our hot water at the ice rink. The reason why I'm explaining this is because last week our heat exchanger that heats the shower water kind of sprung a leak. So we kind of had to bypass it. So right now we don't have any hot water for the showers, but we do have hot water for the Zamboni, so don't worry. And I'm gonna explain to you why that is, as well as how we heat our hot water here at our ice rink. Because we do have hot water heaters, but we mainly rely on heat exchangers from the refrigeration system to be able to heat the hot water and basically the water that's entering our hot water heaters we only have two of them is already preheated now I believe the hot water that kind of is in the shower loop is just a residential hot water heater probably 50 gallons or so uh, the hot water heater is a 200 gallon excuse me it's a 100 gallon hot water tank that feeds the Zamboni but again the water coming into that is preheated through the refrigeration system so I'm going to explain how that works. I'm going to go through the building and kind of show you some things here or there. Okay, it's kind of cool how we heat it. I think it's kind of cool because not all rinks have heat exchanger systems. Some of them just use strictly boilers. So it's kind of cool how we heat our hot water. So again, I'm going to show you throughout the building uh, the certain components that are here that heats the hot water. Before I show you the heat exchangers and the piping in the building, I'm going to go over really quickly on the board here kind of how the heat exchanger system works, how ours is kind of set up kind of roughly before I get into it. All right, so here's our heat exchanger system here. So what we got going on here, this is the main heat exchanger. And what coming in here, which I haven't drawn yet, is the hot gas, the Freon. Now when gas is compressed, it becomes very hot. And before it goes outside to the evaporator or the condenser, however you want to term it, it goes through this heat exchanger where you have water from the meter coming in and it feeds this loop and there's a basically i kind of see it, it's a kind of a closed loop system until we pull water for the zamboni as soon as you start pouring water for the zamboni out then more water comes in if there's no water being taken out of the system this is just kind of static and water is just being circulated so this is our mate heat exchanger that the freon the gas that gets compressed comes through here before it kind of goes outside to the condenser. So that gas being hot heats our hot water. So right now we have this main heat exchanger and water is being circulated through a small heat exchanger into another heat exchanger into this tank right here. Then there's a pump that kind of pulls it back out into this heat exchanger where it gets hot again and it kind of circulates through these two heat exchangers through another tank into this heat exchanger. It's just a constant loop. Now this tank right here is about 250 gallons, I believe. It's just kind of a storage tank. And right below it, there's a pipe that comes out into a hot water tank, which I show you over here in the closet, this 100 gallon tank. And this kind of goes right to the Zamboni. There's a little valve here that we, that we fill the Zamboni with. Now the, the hot water tank here, this is your basic hot water heater. It's again about 100 gallons. It's the water coming into this is preheated through the heat exchanger system. And now as we pull water into the Zamboni, more water comes into here. Like right now, I'm not filling the Zamboni, so there's this water circulating through this system, constantly kind of keeping the water warm. And I think right now it's about 150 degrees. Now, this heat exchanger right here, this is the one that we heat our showers with. Now, I guess back up here real quick. Uh, we can fill the Zamboni up with this water that's circulating between this tank, the two heat exchangers, and the main heat exchanger. Now, but we can't take showers with it. We can't use it to wash our hands or do other kind of things with it. So we need another way to heat the water for the showers. And that's done with a secondary plate. And this is also a secondary plate here, and I'll get to that in a minute what that does. So for our showers, right here I drew a loop right here. So that uh, theoretically, like say the concession stand is the furthest away so if i open water here like 300 feet away from the source if i wanted water to the to the bathroom or to the, or the office the far the furthest away i would have to you know open the water here then water would have to flow all the way here before it got to the to the faucet of the showers which could take like five minutes probably so what happens here is this is the the front of the building right here and this is the back of the building right here so there's water constantly being circulated through this heat exchanger through a hot water tank and again this is a it's a, it's a residential hot water tank a circulation pump that circulates water from the heat exchanger through the tank to the front of the building 
and back. Now, the only reason we really have this hot water tank is when we turn the ice, or when we turn the system off or the summertime, we take the ice out. If we didn't have this hot water tank, we wouldn't really have any hot water for the building. And although it provides some hot water to the building, it's not enough capacity because this loop is always going. So uh, as soon as one person takes a shower, two people take a shower, there's no more hot water. Nevertheless, a circulation pump here that constantly circulates water from the front of the building to the back of the building. That way, when you turn on the water, you only have to wait like 30 seconds before we get hot water. So that's the system that circulates our water to the front of the building for the showers and for the faucets and whatnot. So this water is constantly being circulated through this heat exchanger plate to keep it hot. That way the water that's circulating through here is always hot. And we just turn on the faucet and we have hot water. And that's kind of how we heat our hot water system here. Now this little heat exchanger plate here, it's pretty tiny. I can I'll show it here in the video here in a second. That's our subfloor heat. Now this plate is always hot. And there's tubes that come out that lead to a you know basically you know another pump beneath the ground you can't even see that up there but anyway the subfloor heat I, i'll get into what the subfloor heat does in a different video i think i got the basics down here i'm gonna go ahead and show you start upstairs kind of show you where the hot water heater is then i'll show you the the zamboni hot water tank then i'll go through the heat exchanger system i have to turn the compressors off so it's not so noisy in there so you guys can hear me talk standing up here above the compressor room right now I'll turn this light on a little bit brighter all right so basically if i got this right the water is coming up through here then it breaks off and it, it tees because so we could bypass so there's a, a way to bypass this thing if we ever had to replace it but essentially the hot water is coming up through here that's preheated and i'll show you that in a minute for the heat exchanger plate and it goes in the tank and it comes back out it loops down and this is the pipe right here for the hot water then it, it turns i'm standing right here this is the back wall of the building and the front of the building will be directly that way so as we come over here and this, i come up here once a month and I, and i squirt a little grease in that little hole right there there's one more right there then there's actually another one right there and where's my little bottle of, of oil so this is what I squirt in there. I probably gonna need some more here. So basically what we have here, we have our hot water right here. Our cold water is on the bottom. And this is the return. Right here, this is the backflow valve. So it only allows it to flow one way. We've had to replace this motor once over the years. And every so often I have to redo the, the coupling between the, the impeller and the motor. There's a little spring coupling here. Uh, every time I have to buy one, I buy two of them. So I don't have to worry about it. But anyway, this circulation pump circulates water from the from the front of the building to the back of the building. There's always water flowing, hot water flowing from the front of the building to the back of the building. And this allows for us to get hot water in a relatively short period of time. Alright, I'm standing above the locker rooms right here and I'm looking at this wall. And I was standing on the other side of that wall, just down a little bit. The hot water, again, is the middle one. The return is the top one. And cold is the bottom one. And it runs along this way then it, it turns with the corner of the building and it runs all the way along the wall all the way down to the other side it's one of the first tees right here for the lock room so we have our hot we have our cold and we have the return and as you can see it goes all the way down to almost to the end of the building right here and this is actually where the line stops so the cold water keeps going and it's capped there at the end for some reason but the hot water again, it stops. This is the last one that goes down to the office concession stand. Then it loops back around and goes all the way back to the hot water heater. And it just continually loops. And not only does it go through the hot water heater, it also goes through the heat exchanger plate. I'm gonna show you that right now. All right, just give you a little perspective here. I was up on top there. There's the Elf Garden in Zamboni. You see the hot water heater up there. This is where I get the hot water for the Zamboni. Right, this valve right here coming through this wall. And in here we have a 100 gallon hot water heater right here. I don't know it seems bigger, but it definitely says capacity of 100 gallons. So the water actually coming into here, again there's bypass valve so we can bypass this thing if we ever have to repair it and still have hot water. 
the water entering this hot water heater is preheated. All right, now I'm gonna go in the compressor room and show you the meat of it here. have a few minutes to explain this. So this right here is the heat exchanger plate. And this plate right here is what heats the hot water for the showers. The way how to explain this is that there's water circulating through this with this pump right here and to this tank right here, which I believe is about 300 gallon tank, um, 350 gallon to be exact. So water is circulating through this tank, through that top heat exchanger which is for the sub 4 heat, then it circulates into this heat exchanger right here. Now, where the heat comes from is that when the gas is compressed for the refrigeration system, the gas goes through here before it goes outside to the, the condenser and hot water enters the system, or I should say, city water, domestic tap water enters the system. Uh, there's one thing to know, uh, this is a kind of a, I guess, somewhat a closed system, so if there's no water being taken out of the system, there's no water being added to the system. So, right now there's no water being pulled out of the system, so there's just water being circulated from this heat exchanger to this tank right here, just back and forth. And it also goes through this plate right here, as well as that plate up there. Now, when we pull water out of the Zamboni, uh, then water, more water comes into the system, therefore it kind of makes the refrigeration system a little more efficient by cooling the gas out before it goes outside. And this tank right here is directly connected to the Zamboni. So if you look right there, now which pipe am I looking at? Make sure I get the right one here. Um, right at the bottom there, it comes out of the tank and it turns and goes into the closet and that's where the hot water that big hot water tank is, and that's where we, how we fill the Zamboni. So we use this water that's circulating back and forth for the ice, but again, you can't make, take showers without water. So that water heats this heat exchanger plate on this side right here, and that system I just showed you, the circulation pump, circulates water you know, from the end of the building and back through that hot water heater tank up on top and comes down through this heat exchanger plate and it comes out on this side and it continues to loop just from the front of the building to the back of the building through this heat exchanger plate. Now right now we have it bypassed, that's off, this is off, and this is open right here to bypass this because this right here is we had a leak, we had a, a, a feeding inside right here that just kind of was compromised. We, the guy tried to tighten it, we couldn't get it tight enough to stop leaking. So this was manufactured in 1997, so I think we got our monies out of it. So, but anyway, so that's how we could have hot water for the Zamboni, but not for the building, because this heat exchanger plate has failed and we can't really use it. So we just basically bypassed it. We're getting one order. We got the quote yesterday, so we're gonna go ahead and get that order and get installed. It's gonna be about seven to 10 days for shipping. So we're looking at about two weeks before we're able to get hot water for the rest of the building. All right, I think that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something. And like the local ice man says, stay cool.